Hello, um, I'm here at the 5th EHPA European Heat Pump Forum taking place in sunny Milan and I'm talking to uh, Hans-Dieter Küpper from uh, Sanoa Europe. So Hans-Dieter, many thanks for agreeing to do the interview first of all. And uh, why don't you first tell us a little bit about what your company does? Yeah, uh, Sanoa is a producer of um, HVAC components, um, or components for HVAC and refrigeration uh, circuits as well as for heat pumps. Uh, the background is uh, air conditioning system for automotive industry. Um, they are in the market, in Asian market, um, one of the market leaders, and now uh, doing the first steps into to the European markets. Um, I'd like to focus a bit on the um, components that obviously all together make up the uh, the heat pump. Do you see a demand for more cost-efficient components to be introduced into systems in the future? Yeah, I think it's very important, especially for heat pumps, as they are competing with um, established systems like uh, burner systems, um, which are in the market since decades with um, high quantities, and the um, um, market prices are quite low, and whereas the heat pump uh, systems are quite new from that point of view, and so it should be essential to get um, more cost-efficient components um, to improve the cost efficiency of heat pumps as well. So one thing is, is cost, another important factor of course is, is quality. Um, what about product quality as a criterion? Yeah, uh, I think that the quality should not be discussed anymore because um, heat pumps are uh, designed for a lifetime of about 15 years more or less. Uh, so quality is a must, quality is uh, self-evident. And so I would expect that um, suppliers who have um, quite nice background from this um, point of view, uh, should be um, the preferred suppliers for heat pump manufacturers. And what about sort of further developments within the component sector? How can that influence the overall heat pump system uh, cost and efficiency? Well, um, if the component suppliers uh, work together, close together with the heat pump manufacturers, uh, then the components might be developed to the customer's needs, to the um, each component affects the other because the, the circuits are not independent. All the components, if you turn one screw at one end, then every other um, um, position uh, reacts on that. And so it's uh, um, necessary to understand the complete application and so that uh, yeah, the improvement in, in one part improves the whole circuit. And what's, uh, what's in the pipeline? What can we expect to see in terms of sort of new uh, components in the next few years? I mean, where are we heading? Uh, well, in terms of uh, electronic controls, there is a huge space for sure. And in terms of existing new products, um, we can provide a microchannel heat exchanger, uh, which at um, less um, volume of uh, refrigerant, filling volume, um, and less weight of material less material input, uh, so less cost at the same capacity. It uh, provides a much higher efficiency than fin and tube um, heat exchangers. And so I would expect this as a big step for, um, in terms of cost reduction and uh, at the same time um, increase in efficiency of the complete circuit. I think you already alluded to, to some of your challenges ahead, but what is sort of the, the one main challenge that you see sort of for the years to come, let's say the next five years, medium term? Well, I think it's, it's the environment itself. There are a lot of uh, screws that could be turned um, from a political point of view, uh, subsidization of um, uh, new uh, systems like heat pumps are being reduced. Um, then um, a weak point from my point of view is... Uh, the installer business, uh, if they are independent from the OM manufacturer, uh, they are more uh, familiar with the burner systems, so they like to go ahead with the system and, and technology they, they know. I think it, uh, we should do a lot of advertisement um, in this direction, a lot of training, and uh, yeah, this, it takes a time.